Were people taking advantage of Bruce Willis in his final days? A bombshell report from the LA Times says that may well be the case. And I'm gonna get into that in just a moment. But first, how did we not see this? Here's a scene I found in a movie that Bruce Willis was in, one of the many direct-to-DVDs movies he's been in in the last several years. This one is called American Siege. See if you can notice what's out of place in this scene with Bruce Willis. Can you clean this up? How clean? Doesn't have to be squeaky. Dr. Keats. Alive. I should send in Silas. No, no. You all right, one thing that you might notice is his lines are all very, very short, but you can see the damn earpiece in Bruce Willis's ears. All of his lines are like two or three words long. That's how far down they've condensed this, but people still want to put him out there to try to make money off Bruce Willis's name with what acting ability he had left. Doesn't that seem really screwed up to you? And this was happening in front of all of us. There he is. They had to have that ear bug in his ear so that they could tell him what the lines were. And you can see it in a couple of the scenes in this movie. It's pretty wild uh, that things had gotten this bad with Bruce Willis on the set of these movies. Here's another scene. Watch how short, once again, the lines are. This is from American Siege. Uh, and uh, this is where you can see how they kind of try to hide Bruce Willis's condition behind accents and stuff. I thought you were in the big house. Got out a few hours ago. You heard anyone yet? Yep, and the day is still young. You want to negotiate, kid? Money? Reparations? How about a nice gin and tonic? You know, visually, he looks okay. He's got that earbud in again, I'm sure, in this scene. But how short are all of these little lines that he sang in this movie? And this is just one small example. He's been on a tear of these direct-to-DVD movies. Movies like A Day to Die, Gasoline Alley, American Siege. How about Survive the Game? Or even, if you're more fond of this, Survive the Night. The titles aren't even that varying, and you could tell there wasn't a ton of effort that were put into these. And they just get Bruce Willis and what's left of him up there to murmur a couple of lines and try to make money off of him. You know, things got so bad that the Razzies thought, look how bad Bruce Willis is. He's got eight bad films. We're going to give him his own category. Then after this news, they say, hey, maybe we should pull that back. But here's this bombshell report from the Los Angeles Times. This is stunning stuff, and it does seem to show that people around Bruce Willis were taking advantage of him to try to generate more money while they could. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below and what you think should happen to these people. According to those who have worked with the elder Willis on his recent films, the actor has been exhibiting signs of decline in recent years. In interviews with the Los Angeles Times this month, Nearly two dozen people who were on set with the actor expressed concern about Willis's well-being. Is he okay? Is he being taken advantage of? These individuals questioned, this is the important part, ready? These individuals questioned whether the actor was fully aware of his surroundings on set. They had Bruce Willis out there like a puppet, where he was often paid $2 million for two days of work, according to the documents viewed by the Times. The filmmakers described heart-wrenching scenes as the beloved Pulp Fiction star grappled with his loss of mental acuity and an inability to remember his dialogue. An actor who traveled with Willis would feed the star his lines through an earpiece known as an earwig. That is what you were seeing in that scene that I showed you from this movie, uh, American Siege. And you see that earbud right there in Bruce Willis's ear. That's where they're talking about him feeding the lines. Um, most action scenes, particularly those that involve choreographed gunfire, were filmed using a body double as a substitute for Willis. This is another important part. In one alleged incident two years ago on a Cincinnati set of the movie Hard Kill, Willis unexpectedly fired a gun loaded with a blank on the wrong cue, according to two people familiar with the incident who are not authorized to comment. Nobody was injured, they said. This was a really, really bad situation. And many of these people were going, hey, how is Bruce Willis? Is he being taken advantage of? I'll leave you with this. Willis's longtime management team, including a powerhouse group of agents at the Creative Artists Agency, 
made sure his film shoots were limited to two days. The actor's contract stipulated that he was not to work more than eight hours a day, but he often stayed only for four, according to production sources. So he's doing all these low-budget films, making $2 million for two days. He tries to get out of there by lunch, and they're just like propping him up. Why are they making him for his legacy look so bad? Why would they leave this behind just to generate a few million dollars? And who was responsible for these decisions? This management team? Was it Bruce Willis's family members? Who was deciding to have him uh, continue to sign up for these direct-to-DVD releases? Or, and this is totally fine, was it Bruce Willis himself? Was he competent enough to know that he should stack some money on the way out? If that's the case, fine. If not, and people were propping him up to make money off him, putting him out there to look like a fool in these scenes with very little to no acting going on, and you're having to feed him lines through an earpiece, and he's being replaced in all the scenes by body doubles, why would you tarnish a man with such a great legacy? That, to me, doesn't add up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think Bruce Willis was being taken advantage of in this situation? Or do you think this uh, was his decision alone and that should be fine? Let me know. Facebook.com slash The News Junkie. Hit that follow button. YouTube.com slash The News Junkie. Please hit subscribe. Thanks to all my new subscribers over there. I look forward to having conversations with you in the comments and uh, in stories like this every single day. Thanks for watching as always, and we'll talk to you again real soon.